What is going on, Padawans? This is your Jedi Master, the Melted Jedi. And this video, we are looking at a server setup for this game right here, Enshrouded. This video was brought to you by G Portal. G Portal, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. We love your servers. And uh, if you want a discount, make sure you click on my discount code in the link in the description down below and it'll save you 10 percent on your brand new order we want to go to g-portal.com and it should take you to the main page and what we're going to look at is an enshrouded server so if you haven't done a server before come here get, get to your landing page for the game that you want to buy take a look at the different options you have right you can create your own configuration you can do a 30 day 16 slots so that means you can have up to 16 players connected to your server at once uh you can do three months of 10 slots or 30 days of 10 slots this right here is the top seller but in this instance i'm going to look at this one right here uh pay attention to this little bar for server location right what it's going to do is if you click on this you're going to want to find your green ones at the top it says currently my uh ping is lowest on washington dc so you click on that and you click on order now all right so if you don't have a login you can actually create one here uh if you do have one you can sign in if not you can make one with facebook google twitch xbox live or you can do it the old-fashioned way and sign up with email it's super simple to do you guys know how to do it in my case i already have a login so I'm going to drop back down to the page for uh, G portal and I'm going to add a server here. Uh, it would be the same as selecting it through the other screen that we're on. So I'm going to choose 10 slots. I'm going to add a server here. Done. It says done up in the corner. It's going to refresh and it takes me to a new server in my game cloud. Okay, so with that, let's head into the uh, server here. We'll click on it, right? It's currently stopped. This is how you start and stop it up here. And this is currently what the name is. It's not going to show this new name until we update it. And, uh, you know, we can change this name to a custom name. And it won't show it until we update it, turn on the server, and it gets running and going. So what we're going to do is head over to the left. Click on your basic settings here. All right, so... We're going to call this uh, Jedi Masters only, right? We can have a max of 10 players. We can select a difficulty preset. This is super simple to get going on, guys. So basically, you have the default presets. You have a relaxed presets, which means like the enemies uh, aren't quite as hard, I think. You don't have to repair your tools. There's a whole... Um, this is basically set up from enshrouded so there's a whole set of rules that that it can tell you in the game then you have hard you have survival and you have custom so with custom you get to pick all of your different goody stuff down here if you have questions on that let me know and we will uh possibly do a different video on that let me know in the comments if you want a custom server setup tutorial so from there on the left actually what we're going to do first let's click save at the bottom save early and save often right and then the left we have a file manager you can upload manage files through here very easy you can create a new directory create a new file upload something refresh the directory very easy to do you've got log files i have no log files currently because we haven't even started the server yet but you can uh, schedule your daily restarts weekly restarts uh monthly restarts i i suggest that you do and this should tell you what time of day it's going to be putting it into. So for me, that's EST. So I'm going to set this for like, for like, you know, like 3 a.m. when no one's on. Daily 3 a.m. restart will be the description here. You click save. And at 3 a.m. it's just going to reboot the server. This is a good thing for Enshrouded because uh, chests and resources and stuff like that kind of reset 
when you do a restart on the server outside of your flames your your area where your base is things will kind of reset chests will reload when you do a restart on the server so that's kind of how that works you can also schedule backups automatic backups you can turn on and off over here so if you turn them on you hit confirm and then it will do automatic backups you can run ma manual backups i i highly suggest that you do i highly suggest that you learn how to use ftp something like filezilla so you can do local backups off to your own site uh, on, onto your own computer so you have the backups in case something happens every once in a while something's gonna you know can something could happen something could fail something could mess up you could accidentally delete your server you have, you have no idea over here on the left we also have permissions you can add someone in that also has a g portal account so if my g portal my friend's g portal account was my name is jeff you would type in my name is jeff right here and then you hit add user and they're going to be able to administer administrate your server like what you're doing here on the back end uh from their account as well so uh besides that you have support you have the forums you have the wiki and you have discord here so if you need help contact or hit up this little section over here that'll get you going now let's see here basic settings jedis jedi masters only let's go ahead and turn the server back off okay i turned the server back off because i forgot very one very important thing i forgot one very important thing back here on basic settings below where you put your name and everything you have to do your user groups you have to set these otherwise the server will not let you connect so i believe you have to set these basically there are different ones you have an admin right you set a password and i'm just going to type in some some mumbo jumbo so like when i type in mumbo and i type in jumbo that's some mumbo jumbo right there you can actually reserve slots so if you're like okay i've got 10 slots i want to make sure that my admin can get on you put in one reserve slot there and then so you can set a custom group you can set a public or a friend group a guest group and a custom group so what i recommend doing is setting up your admin setting up a friend right you don't need a reserve slot for your friend give it a different name so just you know i'm just i'm just typing in letters as i see fit but put in a, a password that your friend can actually type in and then uh make sure you save that add okay so now that's going to give your friend the ability to not kick or ban but you can access your chests you can uh edit the base and you can extend the base so you can do all those things um an admin can do everything a uh, default we can just remove that if you don't want that um and then you also have a guest so if it's like i don't know about this sketchy mofo coming in here so we just type in a password whatever password you want it to be and then you hit add right and so as a guest you cannot kick or ban you cannot access inventories you cannot edit the base and you cannot extend the base so if you want somebody to just come on and kind of take a look give you uh advice or help just killing stuff but not really edit or access uh inventories and stuff like that then that would be your best bet you can also set a custom if you want to mix between that like hey i want them to uh access inventories but i don't want them to do any of the rest of this stuff i'm going to give them a different password here and click add all right so i'm going to log in with admin here in just a moment we're going to go ahead and start the server all right we are now in the game and i'm going to click on play and click on join and then i'm going to search for a server name and i'm going to call it i'm going to type in jedi master confirm hey jedi masters only it took it took a minute it has to pull in all the server names so i hit refresh it took a minute we're going to type in our and this will block out or show the password i believe we just put in mumbo jumbo if i typed it correctly but 
don't do this on stream or anything like that make sure you're protecting your password if you need to go ahead and hit confirm and we should be logging in in any second if we've typed in the password correctly and there we are take a look at it somebody was saying that they were getting rubber bands i'm not getting any rubber bands in fact we can take a look and our latency is 28 milliseconds so maybe if they were getting rubber band they might be on wi-fi or something like that i have no idea but you got to make sure you, you select the best server for you and look at that Gr all green uh we're looking down in this area down here all green bars everything's good to go low latency and we are up and running hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe if you want more helpful videos and as always guys stay safe and keep it melted later